Hey, what's happening, y'all? I'm with my uh, friends up here at, at the Republic's Bar. They actually about to start their own podcast called The Bar Chronicles. It's coming soon. Y'all know I'm one third of the host of the hit show on Facebook, but my two new friends here they starting their podcast. They got a lot of good topics. They about to start their show. They're gonna be on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, everywhere. We been having some good discussions, okay? And I'm gonna let them start off because this is their show. But I'm helping them start their podcast. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? My name is Beans. This is the beautiful, sexy Lex. So. Conversation that we were just having was what I'll, I'll let you take off, Lex. What was the conversation we were just having? I forgot. Uh, I'm drinking. No, you keeping I, your guard up. I'm yeah. a bartender, so I gotta work, but I'll be back. Okay, so she was talking about how she keep her guard up as far as dealing with men, men with kids, and dealing with and not wanting to be a stepdaddy and all that. But she really wants to be a wife, but she don't want to be a stepmom. She doesn't have kids. She dates men with kids, but... She says she doesn't want to be a stepmom. Right. But in all actuality, she's more than willing. For and the she, right person. And, and she has a, a, a lot that she brings to the table and would be a good wife. Even if the man had kids, because she has it in her. She was raised by both her parents. So she knows uh, a marriage needs a balance of the man and the woman working together. Church. So when a woman like that has been raised like that, they know what they're supposed to do to be a wife. She's out, and she's had the training to be a wife, and didn't even know it. You're right about that. It's the value. Exactly. She knows, she knows her value. She knows her value, and there's nothing wrong with a woman knowing her value, knowing her worth. A lot of women don't, but you should know your value and know your worth. Every woman has a value in her and worth, and you need to know that. That's a fact. Especially like in today's men. world. Yes, right. A lot of men, men, we don't know our worth, though. I was talking to somebody about this. You let women determine your worth sometimes, and that's what you fuck up at. This guy, this is my guy right here. No, yeah. But because, as, go ahead. No, no, just from experience and uh, being younger mm -hmm. and not, see, I, we, I've accomplished a lot in life to where I, you know, to where I feel like I'm sort of, I'm accomplished and there are a few things that I can bring to the table, multiple businesses that I know how to run, multiple businesses that I'm currently running. So it's like when I never had anything, you kind of view things a little bit different. So you might feel as if you don't know your value when you let a woman that you're dealing with attach a value to you. And you're only as valuable to a woman as, as she'll let you be almost in a sense because women know what they can ask for they know what their lover or their significant other might be capable of okay they know what they can ask for they know what they just pretty much know well i might be able to ask him for to pick up the kids and and, and do this and instill some type of values in my son and, yeah. and and things of that nature but i can't ask this one that he don't know shit. You know what i mean like he's not responsible you know what I mean? I might be able to ask this man to pay a bill, right? But he might not know how to cook. I might know how to cook, but don't know how to pay a bill. Okay. So there's different standards to what women attach a value to a man to. But as a man, you have to understand what value that you actually have and what you can actually bring to the table, so that you can be the best asset that you're meant to be. And I'm glad you said the word asset because the thing is, the two things you mentioned, asset and value. You should know your self-value, meaning you should know your worth prior to dating. Yeah. Then you need to know you have another value, meaning how valuable are you to your woman? So you should already know your value, but then you have to be valuable to that woman. In these new days of time, so you if, might be valuable to your man. You know right. So if a man, if man, if you're not, if you don't know your value before you with the woman. Then if she tells you your value, that's all you know, but you need to know already know what your value, what your worth is. Exactly. That way you can be more of an asset, like you said, exactly. to that woman. More of and an asset, the less of a liability. Exactly. And you can build with that woman and y'all can build together. Right. So you're right. Exactly. What do you feel about uh values and, and, and how women attach a value to me? Do, don't you I mean, do you agree that men should know their value before they come to a woman? 
and also that you might you might have valued yourself wrong to be honest. That's huge right there. Cooking tonight. You might have valued yourself wrong, and and now she got to tell you like, hey, hey yo, hey yo, Mister, this you ain't that. So you got to learn. You got to take the bitter with the sweet. Like, what do you feel about values and men actually knowing their values? versus letting a woman put a value on them. So, in 2021, men and women don't don't know their values. They they know what they see. So if I'm dating a man, nine out of 10, he flashy. So that's jewelry, that's cars, okay. whether he doing drugs, whether he scamming. Okay. So that's what women that's what women are going for. That's 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 what we want because that's that's fast, easy money. Okay. So then as women, mm. we lose the value of ourselves. Ooh, okay. Because that's what we're going for. Mm. Nowadays when you meet a regular nine to five man in women's eyes, he's boring. Okay. He's boring. Uh he go to work every day. But if you meet a drug dealer, he got time on his hands. Oh, okay. So we we lose value because that's all we know. And, mm. and that's all we see. We watch, we watch Cardi B. We watch Megan Thee Stallion. We watch City Girls, okay. who is who is dealing with nothing but tricks and scamming. But at the end of the day, they can't because they're already rich. Though. Listen, look at Young Miami. <laughs> she had a kid with 808. 808 right. is is so big in the right. industry. So regardless if he hit a brick wall, he's still gonna have money. He's still and then he's gonna have something to fall on. Right. So when we look on the outside looking in, young Miami won. She has a kid with this man. So she's going to forever be good. But then when you come back to the real world with a person like me, mm. if I Hello. was to have a kid with a man selling mm. drugs and he hit a brick wall and say he go to jail, I lost. Mm. So her, instead of picking a nine to five man that has things like 401k, pension, what? and shit like that, not knowing that when he hit a brick wall, there, that money is always going to be there. I didn't want him because he has a nine to five. And he wear regular shit like t-shirt and shorts Walmart and, throw a, and throw a cap on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We lost. But see, here's the whole thing. She, hey, she made a good point, though. I can't even argue with you. She did, but she only addressed the women that go for the drug dealers and the scammers. Now, okay. she did lightly touch on women that deal with men with nine to fives. Now, there are men that have nine to fives, and there are men with the regular nine to fives, and there's men with salary jobs, and there's men with six-figure salary jobs. Yeah. So it's all like, I kind of, on the Kevin Samuel side, it's the high value man, right. it's a, a lower value, and there's the great value, right. and then there's, you know, like you said, the tons of money and tons of time on his hand, the drug dealers, scammers, and everything. Let else. me tell you something. It's a save a lot man. It's a Audi's man. Hey. It's a Highness man. It's a Whole Foods man. You gotta. You. It's like put your eggs in a basket, baby. You gotta <laughs> learn how to place them and where to put them. Mm. I'm not gonna put a man on the pedestal I got a that sell okay. drugs every day, that sleep till two o'clock, stay out till three a.m. and repeat. Okay, I have a question though. Both of you guys, when y'all said value. Um, you mentioned finance. The reason why I want everybody, why does a man value equal to finance? That's, that's the world we're living in. Value is not finance. That's the world that we live in. Value is not just finance. Emotionally, you said earlier you want a man to where if I call him, I need him there emotionally. Yes. I need you to be there for me. But a what, drug dealer can't do that. Why, that's, can't, well, why can't he though? A drug dealer is in the streets 24 seconds. What? A drug dealer? I'm going to get 30, a 30 minute conversation out of a true. nigga that's selling drugs and then he about his business. But look, a drug dealer. A actually, 9 to 5 man can't do it because he at work. But a and drug dealer. Be on the phone at work. It have sounds to, like you need a therapist, I, not a man. I, I got to disagree. <laughs> I'm going to be honest and with you. And that's true. Oh, yeah, but it, it, I mean, just, a drug dealer. I didn't try to crack and that's true. But it sounds like you that's need a therapist and not a man. A drug you know dealer can. Uh, a drug dealer can come to you when you need him because he's in the streets. A nine to five man can't just, hey, I got to get up, my, you know, it's a problem with my girlfriend. I got to leave because he might lose his job. A drug dealer is in the street. He can come to you. But can I bust y'all a bubble real quick? Let me go ahead, bust go ahead, bubble. go ahead. Let's, let's bust. And this, this ahead, is first. where a lot of females lack. 
it's not about the type of man that you deal with at the end of the day. It's it's what you're it's what you're taking from a man. Oh. Okay. Regardless of what type of job he has, whatever you got going on mentally, regardless of what type of man the job got, he can't always do be there and give you what you want. Right then and there. Right then and there. Maybe later, but not right then and there. So it's a mental thing. So going back with being said, black women nowadays need therapists. They don't need a man. A man can't always fill that void for you. Because that's going back to your mama, your daddy, your childhood. Can't no man come in your life and fix that. I have to agree, but I also have to add black women, black men also need change. therapists. Because a lot, of, a lot of black men don't know how to communicate and they express don't. themselves. You know, so I'm not, I can't say just black women, but black men also, and a lot of us don't know how to express ourselves and sit there and talk. Um, yeah, without doing something stupid or violent, you know, so in the black community period, we all need somebody to talk to. I, and, I, and I think that's all with included with, uh, yeah, mental health. So. We all we all need somebody to talk to, black men. But to what you said, as far as the women picking certain types of men, um, when you come back and sit down, but I'm gonna talk to y'all for a minute. Uh, do people do do people? Yeah, no, yeah. Y'all don't want me. Yes, we do. We gotta get him in. We don't want T. Yes, we do. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Got Kevin Samuels in the building. No, seriously, seriously, seriously. <laughs> the knowledge that you're gonna bring, the knowledge that you're gonna bring. I don't know what the subject matter is. It's everything. Right now, right now we're talking it's about the value of a man and why, why, wh where's a man's value he when he approaches he a woman? He's ready. He's ready. Where's a man's value when he approaches a woman? And why do certain, why do certain men let women attach a value? to a man versus not knowing what your value is before you approach a woman. Oh, right. he said, for y'all, if y'all can't hear him. That's a man that's a you because if I know what I'm worth and I'm ready to take and I approach this woman, there you go. I'm not going to break that down. Right. Well, what if she's mentally not ready? What if she done dealt with a man that didn't buy himself at home? She's mentally not ready. That's not she's mentally understandable and move on. Okay, so this brother, if y'all can't hear him, I know the, he's behind the cell phone, okay? He said, as a man, you should already know your value. Now, I said that before he came in, but I'm glad he brought it up. He said, as a man, you should already know your value before dealing with a woman. And see, a lot of things, what, what women do, and not, and not, woman, not becoming a woman bad, yeah. but when, when a law made man, he been made woman. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's definitely a union, but as things come down, generations, years, decades, and all this stuff, men, have, if you look at it, especially black men, yes, sir. we was torn down. Yes, sir. Back in like the 1700s, as slaves. Yes, sir. You know, it was like, they had a situation back in, 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 in the slave called the Willie Lynch system. Yes, sir. Yeah, the Lynch, okay. yes. What happened, what happened was, you get a gang of white men. Yes, sir. Who were buck break. And they would go, they would go into, a black man's house, rape his wife in front of, in front of him, of him right. and his son. Yes, sir. And sometimes we'll rape him in front of his family. Right. And, and demasculize him. Yeah, exactly. It's called so buck now, breaking. Exactly. What happens with that is that now, the, as the mother who now, because the father is embarrassed, yes. he has no balls, period. Yes, sir. He's so, yeah. over with him. Yeah. So now, what the mother does to that son is saying, Coddle him. Hey, listen. Covers him, covers him in her fear. Right, and then on top of that, she says, "Guess what? When you see Mr. Child, don't you say nothing." I, I just got, you I just down. got chills. So now, as a black man, you generate your, we, if you look at it, if you look at the 1920s, men, black men were men. Yeah. We we stood strong. We, you know, we were different. It was the man, it was the woman. And yes, sir. The same thing. Yes, sir. Seventies, it got a little bit what? Eighties. Tricky. Niggas start getting right soft. Now, in 2002, you don't know. Niggas are soft. Man from a woman. Yeah, yeah. And they, they want to be but guess dressed as him, shims, and them. Real men in ourselves, guess what? We accept the bullshit. We accept you being a punk. Back in the day, you didn't accept you being a punk. Black women have the biggest job. Black women have the biggest job. Black women will sit there. 
black women are, are just like, and I hate that, are just like the white men. Black women accept the black men in the past. He, they, black women come, because he's your friend. Let's go, come on girl, let's go. Hey bitch, what's up? You accept this black man as gay, because he is you. He wants to be you, and so anything that you aren't, he wants to be, he actually hoses you up, because you know that he can't be you. Actually, so when they go, this is my bitch, he's going to be, oh come here girl, that's a bitch. You don't believe it. No, he's not. So when you see a group of black women, and they got two or three homosexual black men with them, that's not a good picture. This is being trained by society. Going back to Dwayne Wade and his son, that man, that man is a NBA player. He's known by millions of people, and he has accepted his son to be gay. Can I can I raise my hand on that? That, that first off, that I still, But listen, I, when people see Dwayne Wade out in public, they still go dap him up. They still go on autographs. They still want with go Y'all want my people. honest they opinion? They still making money. Y'all want my it's, honest opinion? It yeah. is, but it let's is, get, but that's where up. we going. He, 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 he about to, he about to have Since we on live. Magic Johnson got a gay son. He do. Okay, but, but, but. And what? And Magic Johnson accepts his son, right? Okay. Magic Johnson kicked it with his son. Y'all live? Y'all watching? Magic Johnson is the only black man in the fucking country, in the world, that's safe. I'm HIV positive, and guess what everybody's here? They love And they still fuck him. The women still fuck him. I got HIV. You, you can't hug me. No. You can't tell a bitch you got HIV. He knows. You can't hug me. You hug me. You tell a bitch you got chlamydia and it's oh my god. Yeah. Some shit you get rid of. <laughs> Yes, sir. yes. It's fucking yes. I mean, it's but when it's when it's your actual see everybody everybody feel nope. better, it's different. I'ma raise my hand. Go ahead. Get that out of the speaker because this is what I, this is what I'm gonna say, okay? So for y'all that's watching, this is not the normal hit show podcast. These are my friends. They're starting their podcast, okay? Y'all know me, I'm straightforward. I know y'all don't go y'all are not gonna like what I say. But to what this man just said. You have to understand something, okay? If your son becomes gay, that's fine. There's nothing wrong. I have friends and family that's gay. I don't care about that. Now, this is the thing. The thing is, me personally, I wouldn't have put it on social media because not that he was gay, that he changed his sex. And then people get they get mad when people comment on it. If you put something on, if you're a public figure like Dwayne Wade and your son changes his sex and you put it on social media, you're looking for attention from that. From the media. And that from brought media. attention. Now, if his son wants to be that, that's, that's their family business. I'm not knocking that, but anytime you put anything on social media, it is open to, the, open public. to the public. So don't get mad if we speak on it. Yeah. Right about that. But Dwayne Wade and I'ma say it on camera. Y'all gonna disagree and say no. Dwayne Wade is suspect his damn self. The way that nigga dressed, his body language, his subject, his goddamn self. Hey man, and his wife know it. Hey, I don't give a fuck with nobody. Now, listen, now. He subject his listen, goddamn. Now. He suspect. Listen now. That nigga suspect he is not too. Wrong for he suspect too. He not wrong for saying. Tell me I'm lying. That's, that's, Tell me I'm lying. But, but that's coming from. He suspect too. That's coming from the street. No, no straight man wear no manly fucking shorts man. up to their balls. That's, that, that, that's suspect. That's, that's I've what never seen you come in here with bo- with shorts up to your balls. No, I've seen I mean, no, you, know, you either. He's suspect. But that's because they let these designers and these so-called fashionistas. That's, that's bullshit. No, it's not. No, but no, it ain't. It ain't Gabriel. No, it's no. not. Gabriel. Gabriel. No, that nigga suspect. When she know that nigga suspect. Was gay, the first thing she thought about was her they, husband. They she didn't think about her son. Her husband in the limelight. She know that nigga suspect, but he got money. She know that nigga suspect. Hollywood. That, that, that's how you classify that. Hollywood. That nigga suspect. Right. Nothing wrong with it. I, 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 exactly. And then when you go get your own shit, do what you want to do. 
And I, I feel the same way. And I feel the same way. Look what you got to do. Come on, we're gonna end this. We're gonna end this we're podcast end this right start now. One. But we definitely gonna start another one, and we will be back. But we are gonna keep the conversation going, and we might touch up. We gonna stop. Let y'all know how it hey, went. We gonna stop, and I'm gonna put my phone somewhere else to get him in on it. He good. <laughs> he got. He, he came with got, some shit. He got a hit for it. Well, he want to be off camera. Yeah. He can sit by here. That nigga. Kevin said he was junior, okay? He gonna keep it 100. Yeah, hey, he y'all, gonna keep it 100. Y'all thought I was bad. Y'all ain't ready for that, Chad. Hey, but you talk about a high value man, millionaire. Oh, no, you talk no. about a high value man. Y'all ain't ready for that, Chad. We ain't gonna give y'all that. No, but hey, I'm just we'll telling where your opinion comes from. Hey, we'll be back. Who all watching? You talking about, you talking to a millionaire. What's up, Tatera? What's up, Demetrius Wise? Yeah. Hey, we're gonna, to a millionaire. we'll be back in about so, 20 minutes, all right? We're gonna do another one.